In this video, I'm going to be covering how to use Edpuzzle, a brilliant tool to use for your remote learning. But what is Edpuzzle? Edpuzzle is an incredible tool to use for remote learning or hybrid learning, since you can add quizzes and notes directly onto your videos and screen recordings. So when it comes to pricing, you can upload 20 videos for free, and if you refer other teachers, you get three extra. And you can do this by clicking on the refer to earn space at the top. To start creating your video, what you want to do is head on up to add content, and it will give you a plethora of different options. Create a video, which enables you to add quizzes or notes to existing YouTube videos or your own YouTube videos. Uploading a video, which allows you to upload your videos that you've created for your class or your screen recordings. And then you've got projects and folders, which is perfect for organization. I'm going to go for uploading video since I'm going to use this demonstration screen recording lesson that I've created. So now my video has been uploaded. All I need to do is click on it and it will bring up a bunch of different options on the right hand side, including assign, edit, share preview and delete. So we're going to start off by clicking on edit since this is where we are able to add our questions. To start off with, you've got three tabs, which is your cut, which is your trimming, your voiceover, if you want to narrate over your video, and then you've got questions, which is what we're going to be using. And from here, you have three types. You have multiple choice, open-ended question, and note. But I'm going to go for multiple choice question. If you click on it, it will bring up this box. You can insert your question here, and you have the ability to add some links and images for if you want to add these in to help your students, and you can do these for all of the questions and answers. To create a correct answer for your students, what you want to do is you click on the cross, and it will turn it into a tick, and this will assign it as a correct answer, and you can do these for any of your questions. To add another answer to your question, all you need to do is just click add another answer choice at the bottom. And once you've put all of your answers in, click save. And you can decide where you want your questions to be positioned simply by clicking and dragging this little slider head to the point where you want it in the video. And once you've decided where you want to have your question or your notes in your video, it will bring up a little preview box on the right hand side. And when you're happy with this, click continue and you have the ability to add more notes and questions if you want to. And once you've finished, click finish at the top right. Next, what you want to do is decide whether you want to assign this or not. If you assign it, you'll be able to receive data on what students got right and wrong and who got them right and wrong. And this is helpful to give feedback to those students. And to do this, what you want to do is head on into assigned, decide on a start date and decide a due date for this. Then what you want to make sure is turned on is prevent skipping. This means that students won't be able to skip the question or skip around to the answers if you cover them in there, or basically just avoid the question. Before you assign it, you want to add it to a class and you can create a brand new class by clicking add new class at the bottom and just naming your class. But I've got an example one here. And then what you want to do is click share assignment. It will then prompt you to copy this link and you can copy it and paste it into platforms such as Google Classroom, into an email, send it out to parents and much more. When the students click on this link, it will take them to a page which looks like this. They'll be able to play and rewind the video if they want to. And when the video approaches the quiz question, it will pause the video. Then it will open up a box on the side with the question or the note. And the student needs to answer this since they won't be able to watch the rest of the video without watching this. And once they've submitted it, Edpuzzle will tell them whether they got the, the question right, whether they got it wrong, and what their score would be out of 100. But now what you want to do is watch our playlist on remote learning, where we give you the best tips, tricks, and tools to help to create effective and creative remote learning. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.